Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on automated invoice debiting. Within the system, you're able to activate your guests to have their credit card or bank account automatically debited for any invoices that are issued to them. Please note that this feature will only be available if you have an integrated credit card gateway connected to NewBook and if you're also potentially wanting to use the automated debiting of their bank accounts, please reach out to your credit card gateway provider to see if this option is available for you. By default, the system will automatically debit the invoice on the due date. However, at a property level, you do have the ability to override this so that you can set all of your invoices to auto debit before their due date or even after their due date. For those of you who also use repeat charges for long-term bookings and automatically generate invoice for those each month, you can also choose to pre-generate those invoices a couple of days in advance or earlier. This will ensure that the guest received the invoice prior to its due date and prior to it being debited, and it can also ensure that they've got funds available for it to be processed successfully. For any specific guests who would like theirs to be debited outside of your property settings, you can also adjust them at a per client account level. In order to set up a guest for automated debiting for their invoicing, First, you need to add their credit card or bank account details to their guest profile. If we scroll down, we can see our credit card authorization and direct debit authorization and the add button. Simply fill in the details and save. Once added, you'll then need to head into their booking client account to ensure you activate them for automated debiting of those invoices. To do this, once you're in the booking client account, select account options in the top right, select edit, You'll then be able to select the card or bank account you wish to automatically debit. And within the batch slash auto debit column, you'll need to set this to auto and manual. If you have multiple sub client accounts set up for the different types of items that you charge for at your business, and you only want invoices for their seasonal fees or accommodation to be automatically debited, you do have the ability to just enable this at a sub client account level and leave the other ones switched off. As mentioned earlier, if within your property settings you have it configured that all invoices by default will be debited on the due date, however you have a specific guest that would like that to be slightly different, or you would like to adjust when they're reminded of their invoices, there is an invoice setting tab at a client account level. Over on the right, we can turn on or off the ability to send them reminders about their invoicing. We have the ability to advise when that will actually occur. So is it X amount of days before the due date or after the due date? We can then also advise that we want to send those invoice reminders every seven days after that due date. In relation to the auto debiting setting, if they are wanting their invoice to be debited one day after its due date or one day prior, you have the ability in here to override it at that client account level. For anyone that is utilizing invoice late fees within the new book system, you have the ability to exempt this particular client from them. Please bear in mind that some of these settings, such as the late fees and the invoice reminders, may not be relevant for clients you set up for the auto debiting for the invoicing. Because generally speaking, those invoices are going to be created, the payments will be automatically processed. The only times these would come into play is if a payment failed. And please note, you will receive a notification that a fail payment has occurred. And you can also check any pending payments or transactions in your menu under your credit card transactions page. Or if you have the bank account section, it will be your direct debit transactions page here. The new book system will not try and reprocess any failed transactions. So it will be up to you to reach out to the client to discuss a direct payment method for that one or to ask if it is okay to reprocess that transaction manually. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today on the automated invoice debiting feature. If you do have any questions, remember you can click into the question mark icon in the top right corner. That will then show our knowledge base and any recommended articles based on the page that you're looking at. You can also use the search bar at the top to locate any other articles relating to any other features that you would like to learn more about.